Hi guys. This is my and I'm guys. Uh, this is a Bedini uh, self oscillating circuit. Okay, let's take out the power so you see how it looks like. It has potentiometer. Uh, I think it's 10k potentiometer. No, 5k. It has bifiler coil. You see this? Okay, I have to break this. Okay, you see. It has iron core from sm small iron uh, wiring. Oh, it was really hard to get all this in. And it has transistor. It's NPN, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, 8 amps transistor. It can withstand 100 volts. It has another resistor, another circuit. It has this uh, neon bulb, which operates at uh, roughly 80 volts or 100 volts. I'd say 100. Okay. Let's put this cover back on. Okay. Now, so it has charging leads. It can charge from batteries from 1 volts to 50 volts. Okay, I made this. Uh, okay, this adapter for uh, for this charger, 12 volts supply. Okay. Do you see this? Okay, when I plug it in. Okay, this neon glows red. And let's see what this baby can do. Okay, this is uh, some small light bulb. Okay, you see, I can touch this with my bare hands. Nothing happens. Because this is uh, radiant electricity is not dangerous. Okay, you see, I saw this. So you see, this is 230 volts. Uh, uh, USB uh, 5 volts charger. Okay, and I bought this Chinese uh, lamp. Okay, so it basically it operates at 230 volts. Okay, let's plug this in into my device. Okay, and let's see what happens. Yeah, it glows. Okay, now what shall we test here? Let's see, can it charge a mobile phone with this original 230 volt charger? Okay, let's plug it in. Any charging? I don't know. Do you see this? Does it have single battery charges? Can you see? It can charge up the phone. Okay guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my uh, Reddit Electricity channel and bye bye.